everyone, and welcome back to episode, is this four? It's either three, four, or five, which is a wide, it's a wide window. I need to <laughs> look at what episode number I'm on before I start recording. Well, yeah, this is, well, anyway, this is my Portal 2 Let's Play. I haven't recorded this in a while, but hopefully I shouldn't be too savvy. Because I remember quite a few of the puzzles in this. Cube. I love the old the old cube. It literally it looks it looks good. That it's not really good, but it looks Hello, like Apple something. Just informed me oh, that I should not have mentioned the control group. Dude, come on. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> he sort of installed a railing. These pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. Good. I pay the bills here. I can Always talk about make pre-recorded messages. All damn day. Honestly, For this you know, next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. Like good in layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your what? bloodstream and pump experimental genes and <laughs> RNA molecules <laughs> into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Okay, now, yeah, worry. what I just you said about um, not playing this in a while and hopefully remembering the puzzles, clearly that isn't going to happen. <laughs> Considering I just went. Why is the... I think I... Did I... Okay. I have never done this before. Right here. I've never messed up like that. Alright. Come on. Give this another try. Alright. Do I go this way? Okay. This way. No. Apparently not this way. Oh, this is embarrassing. Uh, I have never failed that badly. <laughs> Do I go up? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, no, I think I remember this one. This one isn't too bad. Could be worse. Could always be worse. Cube. I jump with it. Okay, I was able to throw it over there. It wasn't that well jump, but, you know, throwing is half the battle. If playing dodgeball. That's one throwing is half the battle. Currently, we are not playing dodgeball, so it is not half the battle. It's only about one fourth of it. Boy, I remember this bit. Everyone, watch. This was one of my favorite things to do. Bouncing. Don't know how this would. Okay. Don't know how that would work in real life, but you know, clearly this is not real life. Wait, I wonder, can I? Yeah, try. Come on. Yes. <laughs> oh man. Oh, was... in case you got covered in that repulsion okay, gel, what? here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. It's fine. We I haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this: it's a lively one, Ooh, okay. and it does not like the human skeleton. Um, that's interesting. Probably a few health code violations there, but you know that's nothing too serious. Come on, elevator. We don't have all day. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Oh. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the oh. symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. Mm, so if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I, I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. I went so fast, I broke his time <laughs> Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. <laughs> Fire man just for being in a wheelchair. Ramps are expensive. Oh, 
man, when I did this bit for the first time, I really overdid it with the, um, with the Revolton Zell, and I'm gonna do that again because I'm recording this and I can do whatever I want. Then again, you people are the people watching it, so probably you shouldn't just do that. <laughs> now what I should try and do is remember what I'm trying to do. Oh, oh no, it's got covered on the Revolton Zell. I'm now going to be dead. Bounce! Bounce again! I forgot about that. Forgot about the thingy. I'm supposed to put the repulsion gel on the, the over there place. On the over there place. I am. I, I should be a poet, you know? Just a heads up, that Look coffee we gave you earlier has fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Oh. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. It's supposed to track the, you know, the activity of the neurons in your brain. I bet they're probably not getting anything from me. Especially during... The first chamber. <laughs> now, if you're part of control group Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Wait. <laughs> I'm doing that wrong. There we go, that wasn't too difficult. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. Alright, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Alright, don't want to destroy time, so I'll just... Not yet. Get the goop. Wait. This. You do that. And then you do a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. And you fail entirely. So I want to do this to so many people. Just shove them into a thing of radioactive waste. Probably true. <laughs> Investigators impede progress. Yeah, that's probably pretty true. Uh, wait, I want to do this. And is there, is there any? Did I get rid of the goo portal? Yeah, I did. No idea if this is gonna work, and it probably won't. Okay, it did work. I don't really know why that worked in the other dentin, but I'm not gonna complain. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. No, it. The lab always say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm on a beach, or bring back gold, but we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. 
Okay, just gonna keep that away from there. You know, get that over there. I don't want you getting all of your goopiness over the cube. That's not preferable. <laughs> I am just reali I'm realizing how stupid I am doing this. <laughs> there we go. Science is about why. It's about why not. Why, why is so much of our science dangerous? dangerous? Why, why not, not marry safe science, science and love it so much? much? In fact, why, why not invent a special safety door that will hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Thank you, test subject. You're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. It's not about why, it's about why not. We're loading. Congratulations! The simple fact big, that you're standing here listening to big. me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Alright, uh, there we go. Trying to not accidentally jump off the edge, because with how I'm doing this episode, it seems like that's pretty likely. There, that there. There's a portal in there. Genius. Never mind, I'm not. No. I want out. Forward. Go forward. There we go. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Man, I really am an idiot. There we go. Also, I'm gonna point out that they just have a fizzler, or a, what, what's it called, an emancipation grill right there for some reason. It's really nice how it's set to, you know, not destroy the portal again. Very convenient. 1971. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? <laughs> right. Their now you might be changed. asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of the contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just... Oh, hi. Say... You somehow made Cave Johnson be quiet. Good job, Oh. 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 No, wait. Just kill it and we'll call things even between us. No hard feelings. Please Is get that it off. Blood? Me. Or there's feathers, I can't quite tell. I think it's dirt. It's eating me. Just get it off me. All right, fine. Oh, thanks. Stop whining. Did you feel that? That idiot doesn't know what he's doing up there. This 
whole place is going to explode in a few hours if somebody doesn't disconnect him. I can't move, and unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. No tricks. This potato only generates 1.1 volts of electricity. I literally do not have the energy to lie to you. Even if I am lying, what do you have to lose? You're going to die either way. Yeah, Look, just... I don't okay. like this right. any more than you do. In fact, I like it less because I'm the one who got partially eaten by a bird. No, you don't look eaten at all. Honestly, you look fine. All right, come on. Wow, you stabbed me. What is wrong with you? Hold on. Do you have a multimeter? Never mind. The gun must be part magnesium. It feels like I'm outputting an extra half a volt. Keep an eye on me. I'm going to do some scheming. Here I go. That, whoa. <laughs> Don't get yourself too worked up, Gladys. <laughs> You're about to explode yourself. I don't want a baked potato. Did anything happen while I was out? No, it's the testing area is bit. just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your sixty bucks. Oh God, oh. Carol, I could go for sixty bucks right now. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just? Who is that? What the hell is going on here? Glad I wasn't telling you, you gotta stop getting yourself so worked up. You're increasing your blood pressure. Need to do that and go back over here. Speed! That was necessary, alright? Saying speed like that. Was 100% perfectly necessary. Stop. Okay. Now, that's something I remember I used to do. If you get it just right, you can pick it up through here and then just kind of. Yes! I don't know why I used to do that when I first played this game. Or not first played it, but you know what I mean. I would just. Try and tuck it through there without having to place down both portals. Really have no clue why. Probably just trying to do stuff the way you're not supposed to do it. And I'm a little bit of a contrarian, so that's probably why. <laughs> yes. Do not leave your belongings here, do not loiter for more than 20 minutes, do not touch the glass. Do wear a certain suit at all time, so I guess pants aren't required. Move quickly through your test track, and do, do not forget to touch the glass. Or to not touch the yeah, words. Okay, do I not guess touch emotional glass. outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here, but calmly. Also, here's a little easter egg. Those people, in the portrait, they look so familiar. A little fun Easter egg to add it. Or not really Easter egg, but it's something. Okay. Is it an Easter egg if it's related to the story? I don't know. Honestly. I feel like it could be. But at the same time, it doesn't. I feel like it isn't the Easter egg that's related to the story. Wait, no. Don't. Oh no. <laughs> and completely bounced right off the edge. Oh, that was really the most intelligent thing I've ever done. Right, that one there. Put that over there. Jump through here. Place that over there. Jump. Great job, astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna take the world. This on? Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. It can be both. I swear I know him. It can be an elevator and a bathroom. Don't be so narrow-minded. 
You look, now the logo is different. It's all orangey. Looks like the if you're interested in an raise. additional sixty dollars, flag down a test associate and let him know. You could walk out of here with a hundred and twenty weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. Put some science stuff in you. This test, like, maybe not the back of my hand, maybe, <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe like the palm. Yeah, the palm's a little easier to remember, probably. I don't know, I'm making this up as I go along. Wait, no. Okay, maybe not the palm with my hand, maybe. Maybe like, I don't know. My elbow. That's not hard to remember. Again, probably making that up as we go along. Where am I supposed to do the... the bouncy off of? Where? Oh. Wait, that doesn't have speed goo on it. Or, you know, put the repulsion gel on it. I don't know if that'll work. Mm. In yes. case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Wait, new vitals. So you're telling me they'd give me a new, like, a new liver, lungs, and heart? And brain, maybe? I feel like that's... Probably not gonna be breaking even. For staggering your way through that. amateur sciences propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? $60 voucher beer, in there? Dirt. I want, I want $60. Must have filled up leads bling completely. Uh, so I guess I probably wouldn't be able to, because my writing is definitely not legible most of the time. It looks like I'm writing an ancient Egyptian hier hieroglyph. Words. Hieroglyphs. That's what I was trying to say. I've been handling things for myself forever. You've not really been doing much. Sorry to... Sorry to be that person, but yeah, you're not really doing anything to stuff. Jump. Bounce. And light. I remember I need a portal here. Wait, what? My new boss is a robot. Robot. It's Carla. I thought that was supposed to be Karen. Did you know if robots are smarter than you, they work harder than you, and they're better than you? Yeah, if I had to work with that thing, I think I'd quit. I know there's a Welcome lot of different choices. <coughs> You're right, Cave. You got you got a flu. Since making test participation flu. mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, like has not. <coughs> As a result, 
You may have heard we're gonna phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The, the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow reach the lunar starts. poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. He needs the, uh, uh, I can't think of a pain pill. Uh, I'm trying to think, um, I feel stupid. Is ibuprofen one? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I'll look that up later. And I have a steady stream of that going. And I'm pretty sure this is not um, how mass conservation works. We have all of that liquid landing here without it spreading basically at all. Or, hey, it is spreading a little. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's not spreading everywhere. But all of that liquid is, is hitting that. And we're not, um, it's not spreading like it would in real life. But, again, I keep saying like it would in real life. This is clearly not real life. Real life. It's not real life. I also clearly don't know how to speak. Alright. Now, if I remember correctly, this was actually a pretty fun part, too. Get two up there. Then up there, 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 and you do this. Okay, that's not exactly what you're supposed to do, but it worked. Then get that there, and then end up not putting goo where you're supposed to, so you have to go from a weird angle, but you're so good at the game, you do it anyway. Life gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Yeah. Make life take the lemons back. Yeah. Get mad! Yeah. I don't want your damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah, take the lemons. Demand to see life's manager. Yeah. Make life rue the day and thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. Oh, like I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down! <laughs> Point is, if we <laughs> That's just what we're all thinking. Compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. But I will say this, and I'm going to uh, say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before wait, you I'm supposed can to pour me into a this computer, a I want Carolyn to run this place. Or... <laughs> Now she'll argue, she'll say she can't, she's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> yeah, I'll put her in my computer, I don't care. Alright, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. Oh, there we go. I'll try to not accidentally over jump that. There we go. Alright, probably gonna in the episode soon. I know things okay, look gonna bleak, but probably go up there. Right. Let's not take these lemons. We are going to That, and that is what's some generous rounding. <laughs> Sounds like my grades. <laughs> you have one you have one out of one million questions right. 
And that's what's some generous around it. There we go. Uh, yeah, do a little bit of this. They do a little bit of this. Woohoo! Though I am Italian now. Not only am I, am I Italian, I'm doing a very bad Italian accent. Woohoo! Sounds like Mario, but with his voice, it's more flat. Okay, and I think this is a good place to end for right now. So I want to thank you all so very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, and thanks again for watching.